Hello everybody, this is TG95 here, and welcome to Martha is Dead. Daddy set up his darkroom here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the darkroom when I want to. There are three baths when developing photos. The development bath, then the first rinse, and then the fixing bath. The second rinse is done directly in the sink afterwards. After shooting a photo, the film must be developed in several steps. This aspect has been automated for the sake of simplicity, but in reality, the steps are the following. So the image you want to draw. Yeah. Mm. Well then, that was fun. I'm not listening to the radio, so get out of here. That chair wasn't there, right? Okay. Maybe it was, I don't know.
These masks, I remember them vividly. I always try to escape their gaze. What am I supposed to do? Excuse me. Oh. Okay. Uh, I must put one of my photos in this empty frame. I always said Martha would. I always said to Martha I would, but she. Get it, that's what that one seat was like that. The tripod in front of it. Right? Never mind. I think they put the, the, uh, the, um, Okay, so here. But I already tried camera here.
I don't know, where do you want me to try it at? Two. Excellent. I've taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. <laughs> Daddy recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. Not a bad photograph. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. Every time open that door, I feel like something's gonna be on the other side. <laughs> the camera is set up with the self-timer. I just leave it there now. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. You can't see anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. A kind of ghost. 
That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph the dead. Jeez, that's nowadays, creepy. Almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy. different music. <laughs> yes, this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. I was obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened, but suddenly a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her and now I had taken her identity. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. Ooh. Of course the door is locked. The keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual. It They're not literally, daddy's study. literally right me. there. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. Like literally just... That's all you have to do. July 18th. Everything has changed. I feel like a different person. The best part of me left with Martha. My enthusiasm, my desire to live, and the will to joke around. I find myself alone, left to my own devices, confused with no desire or expectations. I was handling the cameras at the lake and there was a floating body on the water. I don't remember what I was doing before. Yet another memory lapse. That lifeless body was Martha's. My sister. Mummy ran up to me and hugged me thinking I was Martha and that I, Julia, was dead. I didn't correct her mistake and now it's too late. If they find out I've been fooling everyone, I don't even want to think about it. I feel terribly guilty pretending to be Martha, pretending to be death. I took the photo for Martha's frame. I know it's too late now, and I felt incredible pain facing the picture. I said goodbye to her forever in that moment. I realized she was gone, and there was no going back. I must do one thing for Martha. I must find out what happened. Partisans couldn't have killed her. That's just ridiculous. Lapo is my friend, and he is one of them. He loved us so much. We know all of them. So it's just impossible. Get the lighter back up, please. I'm gonna go get my camera. All right.
right, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, comment down below anything in general, and this is TT95 signing off. Bye, guys.